à tous de DDO, attention pour les décomptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage EAP, décollage. est nominal. There she goes, hauling herself against the gravity of our planet. Everything's normal, he says. The propulsion is normal. We broke the sound barrier at 48 seconds after launch and went into Mach 1. And we're only now getting the sound here at the Jupiter Control Center as she flies over. I can feel the ground shaking. Blazing a trail across the sky here at the Guyana Space Center. After the initial 13-second vertical climb, we rotated to the east and we're heading out over the Atlantic Ocean. We're burning three engines, but the boosters, those two big boosters, are doing all the work right now. They're providing 90% of our thrust. And if we get lucky, we might even see them falling away with the naked eye. The boosters are burning at 3,000 degrees Celsius. And the main stage that they're attached to is at virtually at absolute zero. So you can imagine the incredible complexities of the temperatures there, a feat of human engineering. And those boosters... And those boosters are falling away. We've had confirmation there. We can see them, the two dots, just through the clouds falling back to Earth. They've burnt La their propellant. We don't need them anymore. And we've lost about three quarters of our mass in just over two minutes. So now we're burning the main stage. You can see it there, the grey the structure, the big La tank. A huge tank of cryogenic propellant. It's going to burn for about nine minutes. And you can see at the front there, the fairing. On the right-hand side, you can see the image there. The fairing is the nose of the vehicle, protecting our satellites from the rigors of the launch, from the sound and the acoustic waves at launch. It's obviously very, very loud. And of course, friction. If you look at the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you can see we're 114 kilometers above the Earth. That means we're on the outer edge of the atmosphere. There's no friction anymore. We're on the edge of space, and we don't need the fairing. <laughs> 